hello and welcome to Classical Crossover Magazine interview series. I'm really excited to be here today to interview lovely, lovely soprano Gemma Turner. Hi Gemma, how are you? Yeah, really well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. It's, um, it's all new, all of this living life via Zoom and inside your home, but I'm slowly getting used to it. How are you finding it? Yes, well, I think the same. Life is very virtual at the moment, isn't it? Um, it's very isolated and very virtual related. So I think we're all just having to get used to new ways of living our lives at the moment and adapt where we can and, um, and just find the joy, which is something that I've been sort of trying to campaign a little bit for the isolated to find the joy in the little things in life that we perhaps overlook most days. So. Oh, excellent. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, I've, I've probably spent the last sort of six weeks, I've been performing songs and uploading them to my social media um, and dedicating them with messages to family and loved ones um, as a way of connecting people in the outside world because you know, they must feel very cut off. The, the vulnerable groups at the moment are so cut off. Um, and I just thought something nice that I can do to make them feel in touch with the outside world um, is to record these songs. So every day I've been sort of uploading a new song sung live in my living room. Oh, wow. um, brilliant. And, and sort of hashtagging with find the joy in the little things. So Oh, that's brilliant. And so where can people find this? Is it on YouTube or is it on your Facebook account? It's on my Facebook, which is Gemma Turner Soprano, and my Instagram is Gemma underscore Classical Vocals. So you can find me at either of those and watch six weeks worth of uh, live from my living room uh, songs. Oh, excellent. I think I'll have to um, spend a few hours going through them and being entertained. <laughs> So can, people, so can people kind of be live with you and ask for dedications in advance or how does yeah, that so um what's been happening was um when, when we sort of this lockdown first began i put out a post um and said that i was just sort of i felt so strongly that i wanted to contribute and help in some way during this pandemic and not feel helpless and sort of you know just stuck in the house i wanted to use what I've been given to help entertain the nation. So um, I put out a post on Facebook about six weeks ago and um, to ask people to drop me a message with a song and a message. Um, and that's how people get in touch. So they just leave me messages or they comment on one of my videos. Um, and um, in a, a few days time, I up, I'll do the song, upload it, and they've got their personalized song and request already oh that's so lovely oh, I'm, I'm so proud of my fellow singers being able to do things like this so you know good for you because we all need uplifting in these you know they're, they're very strange times don't they aren't they and it, it's kind of it's kind of sad but there is this feeling of of wanting to come together even more so than ever before isn't there Absolutely. There's a real sense of community and coming together, as you said. And I just feel, you know, all of us um, singers, musicians all over the world, you know, we're, we're all sort of, our diaries have all emptied, our performances <laughs> are all postponed and rescheduled. Yeah. And I feel so strongly that we've been given this opportunity to make a difference to those people that are stuck in their homes and can't get out. Um, and it's up to us to entertain the nation now. It really Excellent. is. And we can really make a difference. Oh, yeah, I, I, I completely agree with you. And I think it's also um, quite interesting how, because we're having to stay in, how it makes us think about those people that are, are constantly having to live indoors. You know, there are some people that actually can't ever go out, even after this lockdown ends. They won't be able to. So... I Absolutely. think it's amazing what you're doing. I could have danced all night, I could have danced all night, and still have begged for more. I could have spread my wings and done a thousand things. Never know what may 
someone watching that hasn't been introduced to your music before can you tell us a little bit about your musical background and how you got into singing and what you're kind of doing now absolutely um so for anyone that's not familiar um, with myself i'm a classical crossover artist um i perform all kinds of different music really from classical to opera to popular ballads as well, as long of, of course, alongside musical theatre. Oh. Um, I, my background is um, going, going way back to the beginning now, I'll, I'll say this in really quickly for you. Um, I started singing lessons when I was 11 years old. And I, I love to tell this story because I really hope that it might inspire other people. So um, I used to have singing lessons once a week at um, the Hertfordshire uh, sort of School of Music, um, half an hour every week. Uh, my mum would take me to my lesson. They would give me homework every week to learn. And of course, I, I didn't look at it at all. <laughs> And the next week, my mum would take me back to the lesson and I'd say, oh no, I, I was supposed to learn this song. Let me have a quick look. And I'd have a quick look and look through, right, okay, yeah, I think I've got it now. And I'd go into my lesson and, and sing it. And they, they would say, oh, we can see you've worked really hard on this one. And, you know, at the time I was 11 and I didn't think anything of it. But now when I look back, I think I just found my calling. Um, and I just really enjoyed singing and, and I followed sort of that path, um, uh, became sort of um, a classical artist. Um, I've spent sort of 11 years touring the country in a theatre production. Uh, it was like a matinee nostalgia variety show uh, up until two years ago, um, which I left uh, to get married. Um, oh, was, congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. Um, since leaving the tour, um, I have now set up um, a classical group with, uh, with two very good friends of mine, Angie and Carrie. And we have a classical group now called Bel Canto. Um, and we're just starting out in the theatre scene. So hopefully, well, we were due to be touring this year, obviously, but all of our dates have been postponed and rescheduled. So hopefully later on in the year and next year, we will be back out on the road touring theatres again. Excellent, that sounds amazing. And do you have a, a website where people can find that? Yes, song? so the website is www.gemmaturner.co.uk. Okay, perfect. And Gemma, do you, um, when, when you sing, um, do you find that you have certain artists that inspire you um, to, to choose your material, or do you just um, have another way of choosing the material that you want to perform? Well, I love 
all kinds of music, as long as it's a good piece of music and it's well written, it doesn't matter what the genre is, I love music because I appreciate a really well written, uh, well received piece of music. Um, having said that, obviously I'm a classical artist, so when I'm performing a set, um, I would always want to include those sort of, those numbers that even if you weren't an opera fan, you would know those pieces of music and you'd recognize them and therefore you would enjoy them. Um, so I like to perform things like O oh Sole Mio, Time to Say Goodbye, Ness and Dorma, all the, all the big greats really. Um, I'm really inspired at the moment by Andrea Bocelli. I just love watching his music. Um, I'm, I'm quite obsessed with him at the moment. So I love to watch his music and the songs that he sings. Um, as I, I mentioned earlier, I got married last year and um, my classical group uh, called Bel Canto, they were all my bridesmaids. And awesome. as they came into the church, they actually sang me down the aisle singing the, um, the Andrea Bocelli song, Fall On Me. Oh. So they came singing and it was, it was just so beautiful. Oh, that sounds absolutely beautiful. I bet it was stunning. I bet you look beautiful in your wedding dress. I, I did. I felt like a million dollars, as every bride should do on their on their wedding day. Um, but the um, the bridesmaids, Bel Canto, they were named the ladies in red. They looked absolutely beautiful on the day. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And um, do you have a favourite song that you would always want to sing? Um, I suppose I would, I always call it my party piece, um, because it's the song that everybody, I suppose, they know and love. And I mentioned it earlier just now, but I do love to sing O oh, Sole Mio. Okay. Um, yeah. I think, you know, during this sort of lockdown, as we're calling it, I don't know how, um, how you might be, how other people in my position find it, but... I live in an apartment and I have neighbours um, to the side of me and above me. Now, as an opera singer, I have a really loud voice and yeah. I worry so much about sort of, you know, upsetting the neighbours. They all know what I do and they, they all say that they enjoy it. Yeah. But I still worry so much. So when I go for my daily walk, I walk around farmer's fields and go really far away and I walk up <laughs> and, and, and I sing um, sort of O Son and Mio and Ness and Dorma and oh, you can wow. find those clips on my um, Facebook page so um, have a look at the Facebook page to find the clips because it's quite amusing really it's me in the middle of nowhere singing opera. <laughs> well I think I think the the birds and the squirrels um, probably had a brilliant front row seat and I'm sure <laughs> I'm sure they totally enjoyed it it sounds wonderful. Oh, oh, oh. 
So Gemma, it's been so lovely to talk to you. Um, I'm so honoured to have actually met you via <laughs> Zoom. And I hope that once this is all over, we can actually get together and have a nice cup of tea and a chat and, oh, yes. and speak all things music and singing in um, muddy fields. <laughs> <laughs> So, thank you so much for having me that's okay so just tell us once again your website just so everyone can find you and um have a look for you and um and um absolutely so the website is gemmaturner.co.uk and uh, you can find me on facebook at gemma turner soprano or on instagram at gemma underscore classical vocals Perfect. Thank you so much for being with us um, for this series of Classical Crossover Magazine interview series and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Mm -hmm.